Hey YouTube, welcome back, and today we're back with some more cash games playing 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Alright, open button 6-5 suited, see the big line defend here, flop, bottom pair, and open ender on the low end. Um, ace, we're going to take a bet here. Call 10 river, do I use this hand as a bluff? I think we're going to. Well, actually, I don't know. I think 9x bets flop a lot. I could have like 9, 8, 9, 7 here. So we end up betting with a 6, 5, take it down. All right, so open queens get 3 bets, going to 4 bet. Once we do this, we would call off for about 100 blinds. Jams we call. Queens and jacks, just hold. All right, solid hold there. Big cooler, blind versus blind. We'll take it. All right, objects unsuited. Big blind three bet from Shiva. We're going to flat here. Flop top hair, jack seven four. Uh, bets out small we'll call. Uh, four the turn, pairing the board. Checks. I'm uh, going to go ahead and bet. I think this is close here. I think we can maybe find some checking too. Small here. See the call, nine river. And it's going to be a check down, I think. So I'd probably bet like ace jack, maybe king jack, check queen jack, jack 10. And we're good there. He missed the flush draw. Good for us. Let's see, small button opens. We're going to three bet 10 nine suited here. Gonna be a mix. Some three betting, some flatting. Uh, go to the flop here. Pretty big flop. We're going to flop two pair. Go for half pots. Uh, if we want to play this board as a range check, I think it'd be okay too. It's a really good board for his range, especially super deep here. Uh, we go for the bet, ace on the turn. Go ahead and bet again. A little bit scary because I think you can have some like ace, 10, ace, nine range, like ace, nine, ace, nine, 10 suited. Um, I would say we block the club combos, but uh, awful river card. Uh, just check back quickly. Good versus ace queen. So lucky that we're still good, but maybe a little unfortunate as we could have got paid on some rivers there, I think. All right, so we got cutoff open here. Three betting ace 10 suited, they call. Uh, queen 10 7, we're going to start with a check here. They're pretty short, so the SPR is only like 2 to 1. Uh, so I'm going to check call and probably have to call. If I decide to do this, I'd probably have to call good rivers. To be fair, though, there's going to be a lot of bad or good turns. There's going to be a lot of good bad turns. This guy plays 42% of hand, so his range can still be pretty wide. Um, this is actually an extremely good turn card, less likely as a queen, and we pick up the A side flush draw, so we would definitely be calling uh, if he jams here. Uh, so we'll put in the rest. Um, that's king queen, gonna need some help, not gonna get it. So I think we play the hand completely fine, just uh, really unfortunate had the queen. All right, so under gun open, cut off flat, we're calling two. Up we'll the flush draw, pretty good here, 984. Uh, I don't think we're gonna check raise, probably just check call. So bets 25 will call. Uh, turn the flush, very nice. Probably setting up check raise here. So we'll pop this one here. All right, all in. Set versus the flush, and we're gonna be good on the river. Nice, good hold there with king five of spades. All right, so we got cutoff open here, three betting ace king suited. Clicks it. Um, I think out of position, I mainly just want to get this in. It's a bit scary because I don't think he three bets and four bets are very wide, but in position, I might flat versus three bets more often. I think out of position, I mainly prefer just jamming this, so we're going to go for it. As queens, we're going to have to flip. Flop a flush draw. Turn it. There we go. Nice. So, what a nice flip there with the ace king. But yeah, I usually play four tables and playing cash. I'm playing turning out play six. Uh, here under the gun goes for the limp min raise. Uh, with ace king, I th this is interesting. I think I'm actually just going to flat this here. And then we flop trips. Now it's like, oh, I wish we would have bet. <laughs> but. Uh, checks to us. We'll go for the small size here. 
Start of the call, Jack Spades turn. So just really hoping he doesn't have a jack here. Or like ace or pocket jacks are like ace jack. I do think again these are rangers just like super strong usually. That's why I made a tight flat position. Uh Lee's just gonna call. Hopefully does like I said, just gonna call and call down. Even a spade river, it'd be bad, but we'd be calling here. Um, yeah, not loving this run out. But the plan is to call down um as played here. Just call a 200 as ace king as well. We end up chopping. Here we have under gun open, three bet the ace king, get called pre, flop top, pair top, kicker. We'll start with a small bet. Pretty deep here to start, 200 bigs effective. Small raise, just gonna call. Already gets a little concerning, at least that's a small size though. There's not many draws out here. Uh, player, not a huge sample, they do check raise flop a decent amount, which makes you a little bit better. I think we want to bet here. He goes for the double check raise, it gets super scary. <laughs> oh, geez. I probably just have to fold here. I really didn't think this was happening a lot. I maybe should have just checked back. My thought there was when he checked once, he's going to have something like ace-queen, ace-jack that's doing weird stuff with the stat line. Um, if he bluffs us off ace-king here, we're just giving credit. I maybe made a mistake by betting this turn. I maybe should just check back and pot control with how deep we are. But once he does it twice, if he finds a bluff there with no flush draw out there even... I guess we just give him credit. So maybe a, a mistake on the turn by me, but I just like cannot see them having a bluff there. That line. Here we are going to three bet pre, get called flop top two. Get raised. I'm uh, gonna call here mainly just hoping to avoid a club. Queen. Hopefully doesn't have ace queen, but I think this is gonna be a get in probably if he bets. Uh, if he checks, we'll bet ourselves. Um, <laughs> when he went so polar, I think I maybe can rip this. Too. I don't know if this is good. It's not a huge over bet. So he maybe he might flat ace king pre with these stats, which honestly this queen makes it harder to get paid. They lose to ace queen ace jack now. Uh, calls the ace nine, so you had the ace in the flush draw, and we fade it. Nice hand there with ace jack. We got limp. Hunter raises small line. We threw about aces. Uh, ten eight five. We'll go for a bet. Ten turn. Really bad turn card. Oh, why does he got to pair the top card when I have aces? Lead small. Obviously, this is scary. We're going to call here. What could his bluffs be? He can have like queen jack, jack nine, uh, stuff like that. Uh, four river. I don't. He could have seven six that came in. That's not good. Um, I hate it, but I probably just have to call. I mean, I really wish that was a three instead of a four. Oh, this probably just has to be a call. Shows the 10. Oh, that's so tilting. All right. Aces go down in flames. Really frustrating turn there. Maybe can get away with one of the straights coming in too, but... Oh, that's so frustrating for us. All right, so win a big one, lose a big one. So cut off open, three buddies king suited. Do the four bet, I think mainly just jamming 100 bigs effective. So cut off first button, this one in. It snapped off queens, we're gonna flip. Two kings on the flop. All right, our run good pre-flop continues against Hunter. It seems like every time we get it in, even if I'm way behind with like, I remember there's like one week where I think I had queens versus aces twice in a row and both times I got there. So pre-flop running really far above EV against Hunter. Continues. Uh, here we could squeeze. I'm just going to play as a flat. His hand can play extremely well multi-way post hop. Uh, gutter, backdoor, spades. Plan is to check call one. Unless we see go that raise. So we'll call. Uh, nice turn. 
I'm gonna go ahead and lead the seven. I have the most seven X in range probably. Get call. Um, flush on the river. Oh geez, I didn't realize how short I am because it hasn't been topping me up. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Well, I'm gonna jam. <laughs> so we'll be all in. Uh, good first ace queen, so super lucky. Feels kind of unlucky though, because I, I guess I would have probably potted river, so maybe made me some extra money. But I didn't realize I was so short because it didn't top me up. That's what I get for short stacking without realizing it. But we won a nice one. Obviously, a super lucky run out. All right, you two, that wraps up another successful cash game session for us here today. So we played for five hours at 2 5 and 1 2. In the 2 5 game, 1,097 hands, profit of $1,807. In the 1 2 game, 794 hands, profit of $1. Total profit plus 1,808. Uh, feels good to book yet again another big win here. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.